Casey here with CL Creative, where I'm teaching you web design and web flow one video at a time. And today we're going to talk about how to implement GSAP split text into a timeline. Split text recently became free. And so I've been messing around with it. And one of the things that I wanted to do is to put it into one of the hero animations that I'm creating on a website that I just finished building. So I'm going to show you how I did that and how you can do that as well. So let's jump into the computer, check things out. All right, well, here we are on the computer and let me show you what we're going to build. You're going to notice that this right here text is what is going to be getting the split text. And we're going to reload that and then it's going to just fade in from the bottom. So there's this nice mask effect that is taking place on here and it's all within the timeline. So we have our image, we've got our eyebrow, then we have this text coming in and then we have this text coming in at the end. So how do we how do we now create this? Um, so this is going to be my code. I'm just using VS code in order to, to show this. So let me get rid of this and then I'm going to build this out with us, you know, kind of slowly as we uh, work through this. So one of the first things that we want to make sure that we do is we want to register our plugin. So we're going to register our split text plugin here at the beginning. And then I'm using um, document.fonts.ready in order to make sure that my fonts are ready. Now I got this from GSAP on their website and this is one of the things that they talked about doing and so this is what we are doing here as well. Now the next thing that we want to make sure that we do is we're going to come inside of this and we're going to declare our variable that we're going to be working with with the split text. And we're going to declare this right up at the beginning inside of the outer scope so that we're going to have access to that and I'm just going to call it split for lack of a better term. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we just need to build our timeline like we normally would. Um, and so I'm going to declare my timeline. I'm going to declare this as hero TL. Uh, you know, nothing too fancy here, but that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Now, the next portion is we just need to build, you know, what might be considered your pre-split animations. And so we're going to add split text into our timeline, but I'm going to add it, um, it with, I'm going to add the split text, uh, you know, create function within this, but I'm going to do this at, at the part of the timeline where I want it to take place. And so here I'm beginning to build on this timeline normally like you would within GSAP. So I've got, and I'm using all of these twos. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second, but so I'm building out my home hero image, which you saw in the animation that it went first. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm setting my home hero heading, which is this heading, which gets the split text. I'm going to go ahead and set that to an opacity of one. I'm going to do this early just so that it's ready to go. I'm not waiting on anything. And I have this, you know, happening, um, pretty quickly with whenever this is running my home hero image. And then the next thing that is taking place is my eyebrow is fading in. And so the reason why I'm using a set here, if we jump into the project, you can see that I have some custom CSS over here. And I've added this specifically into the um, page custom code section so that I can see these elements inside of the designer. If you added this into an embed on the page, the CSS is going to be is going to run and you're not going to be able to see this inside of the designer. So this is why I have this set here. Um, and, and so I'm using clip path and I'm, I'm basically just like setting everything so that whenever I load the page, these elements are not going to be visible. And then I'm going to use GSAP uh, in order to, to animate these elements into view. And so one of the things that I'm doing is I'm setting the home hero heading to an opacity of zero. And now right here before I use split text is I'm actually going to set this to an opacity of one so that it's ready to go whenever the split text um, plugin runs. So that's what's taking place there. So if we jump back over to the website, you can see that this is, this is what's taking place. Now, the, the next thing that is going to happen is now I'm going to start utilizing um, split text. Now, part of this I got just directly from um, GSAP. So they created a video recently, and I want to definitely make sure I give them credit because this is not something that's original to me. 
Um, and, and this is, you know, what I am, uh, getting from them, right? So I have my split text dot create, and I'm going to create that on my home hero heading. What I'm using type is going to be words and lines. Uh, I did add in this line class, even though I'm not necessarily using it, but if I want to use it in the future, it's there. Um, I'm going to auto split on true. I'm masking, I'm masking on lines. So that way you're going to get that line effect that's taking place. And then I have my on split callback that I am writing all of this inside of. Um, and so I can go ahead and just grab this last little bit so that we're not getting an error and throw that in there. Okay. So we have our on split callback and I'm using this variable that we created up here. So I have my split variable and I'm using this here and I'm doing a GSAP dot from self dot lines. Uh, and here's all of, you know, what is being taken place, right? Duration is 1.5. I'm moving this up a hundred uh, percent opacity, stagger ease, all of this stuff is just pretty standard and you can mess around with this and create some different effects um, i'm just taking just something standard at this point now here's where we start to add gsap uh, split text to the timeline so the next thing that i want to do is i want to grab the actual timeline and 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 what's important is i'm going to add the timeline inside of this on split callback so here's my on split callback I want to make sure that I'm adding this timeline inside of that. So I'm going to connect back to my timeline here, hero.tl, and I'm going to add split. So here's split. Remember the variable that we created? We use it here again. Now we're adding split, and I'm going to determine when do I want this to take place. So it's going to play a bit before the previous tween. And so right before this ends, we're going to start playing this, this split text right here. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do what you normally would do, just like we did up here. I'm going to just continue to build upon that timeline. But what is important is I'm building upon that timeline inside of my on split callback, which is inside of the split text dot create. So whatever else you want to build, build inside of here. And then the last thing that you need to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you return your um return split so that it can, so that GSAP will begin to handle this on uh, our page, our page load. I'm not sure how that got in there. It looks like it's wanting to push in there. So let's see if this works. Good, perfect. We're good to go. Um, so this is exactly what is, is taking place, right? Like, we are, or what, what you need to, how we need to think about this, I guess, excuse me, is we need to think about it as we are building our timeline normally. We are splitting our text. And then inside of our on split callback, we are building back upon our timeline. And we're doing that by adding in the variable split. And then from there, Whatever else is going to be, you could have, you know, a bunch more twos after this or, or whatever it is that you need to add to the timeline that is all going to be built upon right there. And then at the end, we're going to return the split. And the reason we're returning this is so that GSAP can handle any sort of responsiveness for us. So you see how our split text is recalled and it's going to be rerun so that it is going to, you know, look look right on the page um, and so this is why we're putting this return there so hopefully that helps you think about how you can use split text inside of or with a timeline in gsap if you have any questions or uh, any feedback man i'd love to hear in the comments i'm just beginning to work with some of these club plugins and so uh ask any questions or make any comments that you want and I'll be sure to read those until next time. <music>